And what I'm going to show you now is how to set the timing on this engine. So we've got our timing gear installed in the timing case. And the book on OS four stroke engines says to set it so that this timing dot is at top dead center just like that. Well, I've found, I've done this several times, I found from experience that that doesn't necessarily put those um, push rods at the lowest most point, which is, would be the proper compression stroke. Because if I push in on that, you'll see how that just rotated a little bit. That was how much travel or movement that tap it had on that push rod, and same thing with this one. However, if I actually just rotate this 180 degrees, put this one screw hole on top and this on the bottom, now when I push it on these things, there's no movement at all. So that's actually the lowest point for that. And it just so happens that that point kind of coincides with a nearly vertical position of that screw, the slot in that screw. And the reason that's important, I'll get to in a second. When I go to mate these two things together, this drive disc also has to be just like this with that notch facing up at top dead center. So with that notch facing up top dead center, I'm gonna put my finger on that and hold it in place just like that. Likewise, I'm gonna find my lowest spot here and hold it in place feeling that notch. And then I just made these two pieces together just like that. And now that engine is properly timed. Now, I'm not going to secure the screws in here. I just did this for the demonstration of showing you how to actually set the timing on the engine. I'd still need to apply gasket uh, maker around the edges here so I get a nice good seal. But that is the proper way to time this engine. And you'll see that here in a few videos. After I've got the engine completed, I plan on shooting a video of the engine running and uh, how it operates. So you'll see that that is a proper way to set the timing on this. Okay, so I have reassembled this back case, put it in place, and I want to try and show you real quick here how the timing is dead on. I'm going to put this notch at top dead center, and I'm going to shine a flashlight through there, and you'll be able to see that end of that one screw is right in line with that notch. See how that screw inside there is in line with that notch? That tells me that that is timed perfectly. So I just wanted to show you that real quick. I didn't think I was going to be able to pull that off as far as showing you that. But that ensures that uh, this thing is timed properly. And now I can uh, install the piston, do some final lubrication inside here. And then we can put the front housing on.